Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, this is Arcanium, a card battling RPG roguelite. It specifically was not called a deck builder, it was called a card battler adventure roguelike that blends <laughs> deck builders with roguelites, but not a deck building roguelike. I don't know, or at least that's not what it calls itself. So I'm excited to check it out. See what what that could mean. Uh, I've heard some really good things, and I'm uh, I'm just pumped to check it out. World map, chapter one, Anador. Well, look at that. The brood has been corrupted and is swarming Anador, feeding upon the province. Cleanse Anador. Oh my God. Okay. In typical nature for this Let's Try series, where we're just going to be playing here for one one video, a one-off video, we'll go in. We will not do anything complicated, and then we will come back, maybe like our second second fight. We will then learn what all that stuff is, <laughs> if that is going to be relevant. So we got Aurora, Leon, and Milady. No idea what is up with any of them. We'll get in first, and then we'll figure it out from there. So there's a lot of potential, uh, a lot of story to this. If that is something you are interested in, it is something that you can have. So that is pretty darn nice. I mean, this right here, you can. You can take the time, and I'll, I'll let you pause and read that if you are curious right there. Give you a little bit of good time to, to pause correctly, but I'm going to move on for now. Each chapter has its own storyline. Defeat the super elite enemy at each colored shard battle. Each trivial pursuit pie piece to progress through the province and battle Aranax. The corruption meter increases when you explore the map and battle enemies. Beware, a <laughs> con triggers the cataclysm once the bar is full. Destroying three random nodes on each step. Who knows what that means yet, though? This is the kind of information you should save just like, you know, for eh, like five minutes in the future. Umber, the dark moon rains down in the shards, <laughs> the shards of corruption throughout your run. Village rush and feed off the shards of power in order to cleanse the node. You must defeat the villains there first. As I said... No idea what that really means yet. We will figure it out. Here we go. Storyline. Slice another forest crawler falls at your feet, adding to the scattered bodies of its brethren. You hear screams in the distance as well as the distinct sounds of claws scratching in the dirt. More crawlers. Your scout has brought urgent intel past through the forest that the silk weaver Silthar has emerged from her den. She's got a bottomless appetite and the corruption won't help. You must find her and stop her. Uh, okay, so we could either go to an outpost node or a shrine node. It looks like outpost node, uh, purchase minions. Offer a nice balance of damage and defense, protecting the hero in their lane. We'll figure that out. Try and allow your heroes to pray to their spirits. Gain bonuses for the rest of the journey. I don't know. The rest of the journey, it just started. That seems like a good good thing. Visually, I'm like, I'm digging this, this board right here. Okay, so right here, is this where we are? I believe, I believe. And then we can branch out from here. Oh, that's a di that's a unique take on the typical, like, uh, Slay the Spire-esque uh, map. Got the full-on grid, almost like a board game here. I'm really into that. Event plus one. Battle plus two. Find gold, province stone, or party restore health. Restore party health or upgrade a card. Let's go. Let's go for the battle first. Plus two corruption. Okay. So this is what I'm going to read up here. I feel like this is important. Progressing through the province increases the corruption meter. Yes. So that plus two that was by the battle increased our corruption by two. That's what that was. The plus two corruption is what it was. Bringing out stronger enemies. Your actions increase the corruption meter at different rates. I see. Okay. So as we fight things, we are slowly, we slowly move the corruption up. As the corruption goes up, the game gets more difficult. That's so you can kind of balance out... I see. So we can kind of balance out exploring the whole map and then maybe coming back. Uh, and it won't be like we're coming back to a very, very easy place. Like if we explore the full thing, we get the corruption up to 40. We come back to the beginning. The enemies will be harder. I, You know, that's a that's a clever way of going about that. We'll we'll see how it works in uh, in action. Uh, and yeah, with all, uh, with all deck builders, I am of the mind that... Okay, I want to hit the back button without hitting this. Backpack holds are your equip equipable cards. Gotcha. Can we? How does one back out? I may have uh, I may have crashed my game.
Uh, <laughs> Arcanium? Oh, okay. All right. Well, you know, it is uh, it is early access. It's worth knowing, you know. I'll leave, I'm not going to leave that in there because I'm not going to act like it didn't happen. Uh, very early access, or relatively early access. <laughs> I did want to check this. I'm kind of scared now. I think it had something to do with the fact that I was trying to click that stuff while clicking the back button at the same time. Uh, I'm going to, ironically, I just wanted to leave the deck alone anyways. It's not really something I want to adjust at the moment. Set hero positions. I mean, not really sure what the uh, big deal would be here. Is there a way to figure out what is unique about this guy? Damage breakdown? We don't know. Yep, let's just, we'll start the battle, we'll figure it out. This is going to hurt you more than it hurt me. Okay, so we're, we're setting up the paths, and now, okay, all right, I see now. We got unique mini, mini hands for each hero. That is really cool. I like that. So that's why it didn't seem like anything was going to happen, because we were just merely setting up our lanes. The Black Widow is applying two poison to Aurora, who we could maybe switch. That might take the entire turn, though, for all I know. Apply three burn. So we can, okay, Aurora can hit, can everybody? Aurora can hit either the lane she's in or the lane to the side. I imagine that's because she's going to be a, a mage. Milady can only hit the lane she's in because she's melee, and so can Leon. Uh, shield Steel. So I'm imagining we get to, Rudeus is all Arcana, okay. So we have four action points. We cannot spend all of them. Uh, I kind of like the idea of potentially burning down over here. Four damage in a line and shield steel. Yeah, let's let's focus fire down one since we have the unique ability to uh, to push her over. Gain four shield. Can't move. Can't move. I'm guessing that it might take uh take their turn or either take a point or something. Fury is used to play your hero's ultimate cards. Gain one Fury per AP spent. Okay, pretty neat. So that card stayed there because we didn't pay uh, pay for it. Interesting. Dash, apply to vulnerable. Move to an adjacent location. Bypasses movement pairing effects such as root. I, I kind of, you know, a big part of me wants to switch these characters just to see what it does. Okay, so minus one AP is what we've got there. Dash. Gain one immune. So you're going to be doing three damage in a line, two poison. Take X nature at the end of the round. So it's, we already have the two poison that's going to put on four, so we would take four at the end of the round. That's pretty, uh, pretty garbage. Let's do that, because we're going to steal that shield. I think. I think. Nine damage, fireball. So we can get a uh, kill there, and then we could then intercept over to the side. So he takes that hit instead, but he will not actually. Respawning next turn. So we need to beat three enemies before the battle is over. I guess it does not necessarily have to be the same ones, or the ones that we would, you know, think. It does not have to go one, two, three. Vulnerable. Increases all incoming damage by X. Uh, I like the idea of potentially ending turn vulnerable and then going all in on this one. Okay, I got the force shield there. What do you do? Don't take my gold! Picking whatever treasures it can from the fallen enemy before it runs away. Okay, so that costs zeros. Oh, damage in a line. Can we even do this? Cleave? We can do it. You will not take the gold, my friend. You will not take the gold. Dash, gain one immune. We could scoot you over. And you know what? What happened? Can we just keep this? Does this go over to the next turn? Restore up to six H. AP at the start of each turn. Okay, so if we don't use it, it, it does just get wasted. 
All right. That's good. It's important to know. Is this in a line? It is indeed in a line. All right. Who's the best one to take down, then? We could go... Two. Two. This is... It's a little sloppy, but we can do it. The question is, does the fight end right now? Now that we've killed... No, it does not. Immune. Reduces all damage to zero, then remove a stack of immune. Ignores bleed, burn, hex, and poison. Okay, so that wouldn't even have uh, benefited us anyways. I could have sworn we killed three. Did that guy not count? That one guy not count, maybe? He scooted over. Uh, Multi-strike two, deal two damage. Sure. Okay, so immune, I imagine if we go over here and we uh, we put on immune, it would only block two of the damage, is my educated guess. Apply three burns. So we can, in fact, go outside of our lane here. Take X elemental damage at the end of the round. I don't know if it ticks down by one or if it just goes away entirely. We have four... All right. It's all good. And then we just dash over here and say, sure. I love that little emoji that happens at the top there. Okay, so we have definitely got the uh, three destroyed enemies. It's a very interesting uh, format for a, a deck builder since there is the three heroes on the board and they all have like mini decks. That is very interesting. I like that a lot. You can have each character have their own unique combos and you could have an overall synergistic combo between the two of them or the three of them that's really neat gain five shield two backlash whenever an enemy hits you do x nature damage in return teleport to any location it sounds pretty good we only get one add apply three dispel remove x stacks of all positive effects all positive effects Crowd control cannot be removed. Okay. Draw one. That actually sounds really, uh, really versatile. I don't know. I don't know. It sounds versatile. Blink sounds really good. These all sound really, really good. Uh, I'm probably between these two on the left here. Bramble skin is pretty expansive. It's whenever an enemy hits you. It's not whenever an enemy does damage. So if we could do something like that and then move over uh, to... Yeah, so we got a... Slot bonus. Plus one redraw. Ah. All right. The old one step from Eden approach to uh, make it so you are not only incentivized to go for uh, small, thin decks. You get an extra redraw. And you get an extra ultimate plus at this point. It doesn't mean that we couldn't have the thinnest deck imaginable. We could. And in fact, like, there's, uh, it's not a bad idea at all to maybe make things a little bit thinner for now. Like, Searing Beam is really good, but what if for now we took out Searing Beam and we used her as more of a support to hit other lanes? Like, she actually... We know for a fact that she can hit other lanes now, you know? Ah, uh, so we have to have six, though. There does, I see. Never mind. So there's no point to be doing that. I saw there was also artifact slots and everything there. That's quite interesting. Main story quest easy. Battle a super elite villain, gain an artifact, an ability, even more gold, 20% chance. I'm actually, like, I'm really interested in this so far. This is really impressing me. Uh, because it's like, it, it's a very well-traveled uh, set of genre combos, you know? But to see it laid out in, in a, a new way is fun. You know, it's fun to see it in a new way after playing so many. This is a sacred place. You can feel the powerful vibrations pulsing through you. The shrine has been used for centuries by the locals to communicate with the great forces to watch over Arzu. Again, 75 gold... Get 150 gold and a random curse. Curses last for the next few battles, giving debuffs to your whole party. Let's take the gold. I'll take the temporary gold. Event. Permanent upgrades for your heroes. 
Minor shard of Umbra corrupts the spot where it lands. So that's what it was talking about with the random uh, corruption spots. So those spots are now more uh, more pen penalizing for the corruption, I guess. So it probably incentivizes you to really make sure if there's something you want to go for, you go for it quickly. Uh, choose a spirit of Anador to empower a hero with a boon. Fortitude and growth, life and power. Sure. Choose a hero to receive a light spirit boon. Light power. What the hell is light power? Plus three light power and minus nine max health. What the hell is light power? Let's do it. Glass cannon, baby. Is it a card in our deck? No. Light and elemental. Okay. Holy lore. Total enemies destroyed. Look at all this stuff. This is really sick. Um, okay. Okay. Free artifact and ability card for one. Seems like a no-brainer. Loot crate! A free loot crate. Draw one card whenever you empty your hand once per turn. That seems really good! Apply one dispel whenever you target an enemy. Increase the burn, bleed, hex, and poison you apply by two. We're obviously gonna oops, get that and put that on uh, on her. Okay, so we could get upgraded, deal six damage, apply an extra three burn in a splash if the target's already afflicted by burn. I mean, yeah. And it's a ranged move? It is indeed a ranged move. We're going to get that, and then we can, uh, we can maybe make our deck a little bit more what I was trying to do. Get rid of the Searing Beam. So now Searing Beam is our, uh, our bad draw, I guess, if we had to call it a bad draw. Okay, something interesting is happening here. Plus three corruption. Corrupted battle elite villains to cleanse and access the node. So, like, we don't have to do it, though. We're trying to make our way over here. Let's go up to the uh, upper left here and around. Passive teeth and claws applies one bleed upon hitting you. Okay. One bleed. Bleed will probably be, like... Piercing damage. Are you the one with the bleed? I think so. This our arcana damage. I'm actually all right with this. Like, okay, so the health is uh is permanent there. Three damage in a cleave. Oh, you piece of garbage. Okay, so you're stunned though. I don't know why, but I'll take it. Hmm. So, where's this redraw I saw? I mean, I don't, I don't need to do it. Click to draw your ultimate cards. Oh. Whoa. Okay. All right. So, let's go with a little bit of five damage shield steel. Gain shield equal to the direct damage dealt to the health. Light, elemental, elemental, arcana. So this one resists the arcana. Boy, I don't I don't know where to go with this. Hmm. Hmm hmm hmm. We need to kill three. We can spend a turn to scoot over, spend two mana to scoot over and just try and maybe uh, focus fire a little bit more. I feel like we probably shouldn't have. We could have got more more damage value. We stole shield, though, so that's pretty solid. We got re resisting seven. I believe that this might be poison, though. No, it's not. It's flat damage. Okay. Okay, he's t <laughs> he must be taunting. Damage in a line. See, yeah, we got uh, not going right. Shield steel. 
I mean. Whoa. Seems like we should just do this for sure. So we gain six shield. All right. So he's going to end up taking two. So that's the damage preview. I, I do always appreciate when uh, games will give you that. Does shield go away at the end of the turn? I guess it probably does not, right? The good news is, since we don't discard that, we will be good to uh, play it again next turn, or to play it for the first time next turn. All right. Scorch. I expected that guy to, to show up now, but alas, he did not. Extra burn in the splash. I'm going to go over here, interrupt that attack there. All right, apply to vulnerable. We should be able to... What is this? Three burn? Uh, we're definitely going to gain the, uh, the two extra damage there. I feel like it just... It's less uh, of a waste of value if we go all in over there, is what I feel. Okay. So it looks like it happens before their attack, though. Oh, no. Destroyed enemies. All we need to do is get a good old kill right here. Easy peasy. Final blow. They're terrified. Oh, so they ran. So they run. Okay. Important. Important to know. Gain four shield and an extra four shield per enemy targeting you. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of like the idea of this. Uh, dr one mana doing an effect and drawing one. Since it seems like I ha I've had a few, fair few amount of turns with decent um, leftover mana. Seems like it makes sense to maybe go for something like this. Gain four shield and an extra four shield per enemy targeting you, though. It sounds really good. I guess it's unique to her. Equip. Sure. Unique to my lady. Restore party health or upgrade a card. I'm a sucker. What can I say? We gotta go for it. Um. Six shield and an extra six per everyone targeting you. Eight shield and three backlash. Um. I do not know... Oh, oh, it makes it cost zero. Seems fine. Seven damage shield steal. I mean, the fact that that's two damage and two shields back, that does actually strike me as pretty darn useful. Uh, five damage in a cleave. I kind of like that. Is this my lady? I think that's my lady. I'm going to go with faint, actually. It, you know, it's an epic card. It's got to be good, right? It said it was blue there. Through con concentrated meditation, you upgraded a card. <laughs> okay. Find gold, promise stones, or party restore health. How much further? While foraging, you found some delicious berries. Restore some health for your whole team. Okay, good deal. I like. I don't know. It's like a. It's like a weird combo between Vault of the Void, uh, you know, like a. Darkest Dungeon-y Armello. <laughs> it's, like it's like a combo of those. I'd say it's like Vault of the Void Armello. Uh, it, more than anything. Choose a Spirit of Andor, Anador to empower a hero with a boon. I just... I don't know. What, what does this all mean? Two Arcana... Okay, well, I mean, I know what this stuff means. Gain one Arcana power and one Arcana resistance. You don't actually even have Arcana. Reroll for one, the cost of one token. I don't... I mean, I'm not gonna. I feel like... That could be good on her. Assuming it's a full, a full redraw, that strikes me as a good use. 12 out of 40 corruption until the enemies go to higher tier enemies. Sprite Looter. Snatch purse, deal two gold per damage dealt. Gold can be reclaimed by defeating this enemy. Ooh, we're definitely going to give it a go, right? 
Uh, honestly, I, I'm pretty satisfied with that setup. Oh, well, you punk. All right, what are we getting? Three damage and a cleave. Oh, is that what you mean by one card redraw? That doesn't... I don't know. That doesn't make sense to me, but I'll take it. Okay, if we apply that there... Sprite Underling. Summon us. Oh! Okay. Strikes me as a good idea to go for that. Uh, we can actually move over and get a couple extra burn as well. Okay. Oh, wait, what? We just get a kill? We get a kill. Everybody all in. You will spawn no one. I mean, we took uh, we took that damage pretty much head on. Deal three damage, gain three shield. It's what they both have there. Okay, so we can do something like this. Move there. Gain six shield, an extra six shield per enemy targeting you. Why we gained 14? I'm not sure. Maybe we already had some. We must have already had some. That's the only logical explanation I see. Okay, so we could obviously kill with this, that. But then we have like an extra amount of mana that we don't have anything to do. Well... Yeah, that's a bit... It's a bit of a nah, eh, kind of a thing. Fury Meter, multi-strike, three, deal three piercing damage. Expend. Free and powerful signature card that can be drawn at any time using Fury Points. Unplayed ultimate cards and current Fury Meter are reset at the end of each battle. So there's no reason not to do this, right? As much as it's like extreme overkill, if it, if there's no reason to not do it, we really should just do it then. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Uh, Multi-strike three, deal two damage three times. That's pretty bad. Nobody's got burn on them. This is This just keeps not working. Gains one redraw. I, that's still, like, I'm just... I'm confused by that phrasing. If, if that means that we get to draw three cards. I don't quite... I don't quite agree with that phrasing. I would say, like, draw an extra card each turn. Hmm. Let's see. Oops. Judgment. We can get some of that. Uh, we did not get that much shield, though. Five damage shield steal. So must have had shield or something already. Uh, and then we can shield steal a good amount of that. All right. I mean, that's all fine. All fine and dandy. Okay. All good. Okay, so we have Ignite. Yeah, we're not drawing our burn. In theory, you should Omega die. And we should be done with the fight. They didn't stand a chance! It's interesting how you really do get to... Uh, you can tell how much I like a, a game in the Let's Try series based on how many times I say the word interesting. But it is a very interesting game. And... Uh, I, I'm very, very fascinated by it. I think it's very... Each fight, you can go about it in so many different ways. Each, like, each character being their own unique mini deck is so cool to me. Um, it reminds me, you know, in part of um, 
Banners of Ruin as well. It's kind of like, you know, like that, like Banners of Ruin, Armello, Vault of the Void. Slap those three together. Boom. Kind of, kind of what you got here. Uh, Multi-Strike 2, deal three damage twice. Uh, deal four damage and then pull the target to your lane. I really like the sound of that. That sounds really fun. I did not put it in my deck, though. I do not believe. I think I'm fine with just leaving this stuff kind of as is for now. I'm going to scoot on down to the uh, the big battle. All right. So is he going to move at the beginning? Last time he moved. We put the scraps in the bang, bang ball. Let's play catch. What? Summon a sprite underling. Summon a sprite underling. I swear, I just will never draw that correct card. There's no actual damage coming out, though. I'm gonna focus on you. For now. And I kind of want to save Ignite. I mean, should we just... Whatever. Right. I don't I don't want, think I want to save it for next turn. I could maybe get Cleave. Ah, okay, okay. It's an interesting way of doing it. We got uh, little units here. Yeah, I just cannot draw that card for the life of me. Does that count as targeting? It probably does. Broop. See, that's a that's a very large amount there. Crusader Strike, uh, I mean... We got four to play with. Ah, so you block it. Five piercing damage. Pierces the armor, not the actual unit. Gotcha. Don't you poison me. Does Cleave... Cleave probably just hits to the side, but it does not hit every, uh, every enemy, huh? It would say attacks the lane. I bet you our ranged unit maybe can hit the back line, though. Oh, you are... You are getting smacked something fierce. All right. Get it. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait. We can go for all of it. I don't know why I was feeling like we needed to pick and choose. We'll keep judgment. We're going to block one of these. We don't need to pick and choose at all. We also did not even kill. <laughs> immune for one. Wait, are we immune for the entire attack? No, we are not. Oh, Leon. You're getting bodied. I have yet to actually draw the correct thing here. So if we then pounce, we should be good to uh, get our a very easy kill here. The question is, do we take the hit... Before, because the burn, no, does not. Oop. All right. Draw two cards, charges one. Interesting. Upgraded, deal five, deal five piercing. Deal five, deer piercing damage. Uh, Multi-strike two. Oh my god, this is all for you, huh? Deal two damage, apply two vulnerable in a cleave. That's kind of interesting. But only kind of, so that's a no. Uh, zero, deal five piercing in the same line. All right.
Sorry. Pray to the spirits gain permanent upgrades for heroes. We'll go for this fight. We'll go for the big fight. Set up hero position. Okay, so we got the tri Twisted Druid. I actually did not see what that did. Reduces light damage. Reduces nature damage. Uh, so both of those are going to counter Leon just like a little bit. He is also getting low on HP, so we need to be careful in that regard as well. Uh, I think we'll actually... Eh. If I, if I knew that this guy was like a multi-striker, I would keep him there for sure. We'll do something like that. We can we can figure it out from there. Oops, end turn? Why is it why is the end turn button lit up so much? Gains two regeneration. Instant apply two poison forward. Oof. Gains two regeneration whenever a minion dies in its lane. Well, it's finally happened. We've actually got the combo. That's huge. Deal four damage. Pull the target to your lane. Corrupted spores. Deal three damage and apply two dispel in a splash. We don't have any spells. Whenever you destroy this enemy, it applies three backlash in a splash. Three backlash in a splash. It's perfect lethal. I like that. Nice and clean. Um. Hmm. I guess I'll gain immune there. I, I wonder. So we could probably do something like this, and they would switch. I know that we we definitely should have done that for our four damage instead. Wait, what? Apply three regeneration. I. I hope it doesn't matter. All right. Lob. What is lob? Always targets the back row. Okay, okay. I guess I could have figured that. That that's a pretty pretty good uh, phrasing for that, huh? Do you have four damage apply to leech. Restore X health when hitting this target. Apply three regeneration to itself. And also whenever you destroy this enemy. Instant apply to four. I mean, I do not want to be there. Uh, let's see. Okay. This could go be going a lot better. But I think that'll work okay. The question is, do I want to... I mean, there's no reason to, to not do this, I guess. We do have our Fury. We should take a look at that. Gain two immune in a splash. Oh, that's kind of fun. Uh, Multi-strike three. Deal three piercing damage. Three piercing damage in a row. Twelve damage applies stun. Expend. Um, hmm. Sure. You done, son? Cheap shot, deal five piercing. Dash apply vulnerable. Let's do it. Good stuff. So if we applied the vulnerable here instead, that might have been a better call, per se. But we're all good. Uh, that sh should be everything we need to do. All right. Yep, good stuff. Deal five damage, apply four hex in a splash. I don't know what hex is, but this seems good. Take X void damage at the end of your turn. What's special about void? Decreased, void damage decreased by void, void resin. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. It's Why is it different than poison? Why even bother? I don't know. I mean, like I, I, I like it. 
Is this a ranged move? A ranged move that applies vulnerable. Deal three damage, gain 20 gold. I'm that kind of guy. Me am that kind of orc. So we're, let's go do this uh, this big fight, see what that's like, and then we will wrap things up. Uh, uh, let's see. Gain two, X blessing of strength. When you arrive, crawlers are tearing at... Uh, tearing uh, the sp spear trying apart. <laughs> Covering everything in corrupted purple webs, destroying what they can. So Cleaver Silas comes to the top of the shrine, squealing delight as remains lay waste to the sacred place. Um, if we do this, can we not fight? Ah, let's just do it. Just in case. Why not? I don't know if clicking on that buff made it so uh, we wouldn't be able to do it. So I was just like, why not? Let's just go for it. Uh, Milady is going to be way tankier. Spider's crawling up your back. We'll fix that. It's going to hurt you more than it'll hurt me. <laughs> Summon a hatchling. Acid spit. Probably shouldn't have gone for that move now, huh? Five piercing. Let's get that out of the way then. So that, uh, that did five. Destroy the super elite. So as soon as the super elite dies, we're good. I don't know if these are just going to keep on spawning. You know what I'm saying? Really wish we would have uh, got burned there. Uh, dash and gain immune sounds kind of nice. And then we can actually use that to do our cleave. Unfortunately, we will be... Oh, draw two cards. Oh, Potion of Clarity. That's where we get our items. Okay. Does everybody draw two cards? Oh, uh, you're moving over here, huh? I mean, I kind of want to... Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Alright, um... Well, first of all, you get over here. Oh! Alright, that was bad. That was bad. Dash, apply to vulnerable. I do not want to do that quite yet. Oh, this is bad, man! This is bad! Uh, let's see. A cleave would be okay. Uh, a fire. Basically everything but that would have been, uh, what I wanted. But, okay. That did not go well. Go for the, uh, the shield steal. You're, you got triple vulnerable, so this should actually do a lot of damage, since every hit should do three more. Good. 69, nice. All right. We do not have any more of the draw. I like that. You know, the fact that it's in a line means we will get that extra shielding. We can intercept into Bramble Skin, so we will deal damage to both that way. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, I hate it. 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 Searing beam, fireball. Yeah, I feel like if we would have actually got the potion of clarity on this unit when we wanted, I think that would have been. <laughs> I think that would have been way better for us. Faint. This actually strikes me as a good use of that right now into pounce. Do you have can we use that again? We can. Another vulnerable. It really does seem like the, the logical way to go. And then we'll switch over there. We'll block that attack. This is gonna be going solid. Alright. 
just about done here. I think we could probably finish out next turn. The question is, are we going to lose Aurora here? Is there permadeath? I'm not sure. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, we really need to kill on this turn. Otherwise, we have a... We got a real problem going. Oh, no. This is bad. Five damage. Shield Steel will be able to clear out you at the very least. This isn't good. Okay. Uh, maybe we should have healed. Maybe we shouldn't have... Uh, maybe we should have actually, you know, explored and everything before we uh, went for the shrine. Tis with tis. Cheap shot. I mean, can we... Could we do it again? We could do it again. All right. You know what? Just go all in then. The cleave did not work. We should be good, though. As long as... I mean, as long as we finish out and it kills him before it kills us, then I do not particularly mind. Good. Oh, they've run off. All right. <laughs> You're alive, and it was not even close there, Aurora. But alas, alas, we will call it here. Honestly, I had a whole lot of fun. We're just gonna, if we come back to this game, we're gonna be starting a new file here anyways. But uh, let me know what you thought of this game here of Arcanium. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And let me know in the comment section below what you liked, what you didn't like about the game. If you want to see a series out of it, etc., etc., check out the channel for Roguelikes and more every single day. If you're a fan of the genre, make sure to peep it and do a subscribe. I put out so many videos of these cool games and these cool genre. Thank you, thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.